Good day, viewers. You are all welcome to the second day of the broadcast of this All Way 21 Days Power Part program. And I know, without any doubt, in my heart that you have been really and tremendously blessed. And I know you have been sharing this broadcast, this message with your loved ones. And I want to implore you that you should keep sharing. And the more you share this message, the more the blessings of God. That will reach you. And today I know you shall be richly blessed in the name of Jesus. We are continuing from where we stopped yesterday uh, from New Life Digital Broadcast. And uh, I know that today will never be an exception of God's tremendous blessings over your life. Shall we pray? God of heaven, we want to really thank you. Thank you, Lord, for impacting our life with your work. Thank you because your word is forever new and fresh. That the place be now exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy, for the way that you have chosen to bless your children. Thank you, Daddy, because you will continue to rain your blessings upon your people. And much more today you will do in the life of every viewer. That the place be now exalted in the name of Jesus. We are going to your word, sweet Holy Spirit. Speak to us yourself in the name of Jesus. I have no word to deliver of myself. I rely on the Holy Spirit. Take over, take charge, and take control. Then the heart of every viewer will be prepared to receive tremendous blessings from you, O oh God, today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For Jesus, of very name, we have prayed. Amen. Welcome once again, brothers and sisters, and everyone view this program. The God of heaven, Bless you in the name of Jesus. We are still looking at the general team of this 21 days program, which is divine assistance. And like I said, we are continuing from where we stopped yesterday, which is fear not, help is coming your way. And today we will want to center on Nigeria in order to look up unto God for divine assistance. And of course, if there is any other time that we Nigerians in Nigeria should cry to God to ask for divine assistance. It is at this time. And I pray, God of heaven, we answer us in the name of Jesus. Please join me as we open our Bible to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. I will start reading from verse 1 downward. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord, thus said the Lord. Tomorrow, about this time, 
shall a measure of five flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. Then a lord on whose hand the king came answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord who make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. And there were four leprous men in the entering in of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? Verse 4. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die here. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come, and let us fall into the host of the Syrians. If they spare us alive, we shall live, and if they kill us, we shall not die. And they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man here. Verse 6. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, no, the king of Israel had hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their axes even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. For now, I will want to stop here. Praise the living Jesus. This is the case of a city whereby famine, lack, and all the rest are eating deep in that city to the extent that they were eating their children, their survivor, now anchored on eating their children. For divine assistance, the Almighty stepped in and gave them divine assistance. And I know Nigeria of today, because this is God's own country, we will secure God's divine assistance in the name of Jesus. As He rescued Samaria, so also the Almighty God at this time will come to our aid and rescue us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now you may be looking at it. <laughs> the lepers, what role will they play in changing the fortune of a whole city? But never mind, the word of God is ever sure. If you read the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 25, that one, the Bible says that God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And that is what the divine assistant can do when it comes to giving divine help. When it comes to giving divine assistance, that we at this time in Nigeria, we are believing God for. And I know it shall be our turn to laugh in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever action you and I may be facing today as Nigerians, God of heaven that turned around the fortune of the city of Samaria, He will do much more for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, if you read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. He said, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered into the heart of men. But God has for them that love him. The first thing that we have to demonstrate as Nigerians is to show our unfeigned and unavoidable love towards God. So when God sees the heart of love that we have towards him, then he will arise on our behalf. He will show us him. He will rescue us. He will deliver us. He will salvage us and give us a glorious and better day. Because one thing I know about God is that the moment He steps in into the situation of a man, into the situation of a home, into the situation of a family, into the situation of a, of, of a nation, then a new beginning will start. Just like this people of Samaria witness. And I know in Nigeria, this time around, we shall witness new beginnings in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the word of God has never failed. If you read the book of Psalm 126, verse 1 there, he said that when God taught the captivity of Zion, divine assistant. Because when we talk of assistant, we are talking of someone that can give help 
to fulfill the purpose. And of course, in Nigeria now, we are looking up unto God for a particular purpose. And what is that purpose? That God should give us a man after his own heart that will rescue Nigeria, that will restore the lost glory of this nation. And I know as we Nigerians look up unto him, and that is why, please, brethren, I want you to share this broadcast. Let us get into this moment and cry unto God to arise to our head. He said that when God turned the captivity of Zion, but now I will put it, when God turned the captivity of Nigeria, it shall be as if we are dreaming. And when it happened to the people of Samaria, they thought they were dreaming, but it was never a dream, it was a reality. And you have to believe it, so that you won't, you won't be like that uh, professional economist, chief economic advisor to that he said that yeah, even if God we have to open all the windows, not to talk of doors now. You know, when you look at a building, you know, windows are much more than doors. There is limit to ventilation that are coming through doors. But when you open the windows, yeah, more ventilation will come in. So that economic advisor born as an advisor <laughs> he said even we go we have to open the windows of heaven it still will not come to pass but the man of god said why that is all assessment he said you will see it and you will never taste of it brethren i want you to know that better days are coming let us just believe the bible said when two shall agree together on the same thing it shall be done unto them praise the living jesus I don't know what you are going through. I don't know probably you have concluded in your heart that it can never be better. But I want to assure you, in Nigeria, it will be better because God is rushing over us. And God is about doing something tragic that will change the fortune of this nation. And when it happened, the people saw the fulfillment of that prophetic declaration coming out of the mouth of Elisha, the powerful man of God. I am not a prophet, but I am decreeing, I am prophesying this morning, this day rather, that the Almighty God will bring surplus, abundance into Nigeria. And we that have had in scarcity, we will eat in surplus, because it will give us trouble for whatever we have suffered. Before we pray, I want us Nigerians to turn to God, to confess all our sins, to confess all our iniquities before Him and cry unto Him. The Bible says that the day I cry unto God, He said He will hear me. You should look at the book of Exodus, where we refer to yesterday, that when the children of Israel cried to God, God stepped in and rescued them. And as we are going to cry to God today, the Almighty God we step into our situation, He will rescue us and give us a better Nigeria. I want us to agree together in faith because the Bible says that when two shall agree together on the same thing, it shall be done unto them. Shall we please close our eyes wherever we are now and talk to God? Let's turn our faith together. The first prayer we want to pray is that God show us mercy in Nigeria. You show the people of Samaria your mercy. Please, Lord, show us mercy. Fear and greet us, but we know when your mercy speaks, help will come our way. Please, Father, at this time, show us mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Who will ever believe that God will use ordinary labor to change the fortune of the city of Samaria? I don't know, you don't know. God's intent, God's mind concerning Nigeria. But one thing I know is that God has a plan for us, just as He did for Samaria. So we talk to God. Say, Father, choose the right leader that will survey the situation of Nigeria. Nobody could ever believe in Samaria that it is this labor that will change their fortune. God of heaven, we have we never thought that help could come. God of heaven, send help to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn our captivity. Give us a better tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to talk to God once again. Say, Father, open down your mercy upon our life. Open the heaven of mercy on us. Flood 
our life with your blessings. Let the front gate of heaven be opened unto us in this nation called Nigeria. Put the way down. Put the way scarcity. Put the way unrest. Put the way famine. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let it be well with us. In Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Let's step on to the last prayer point. The Bible says that the government shall be upon the shoulder. The Father, please take over the government of this nation. Rule this nation by yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus. By your favor, O Lord, pass through this nation and rescue us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make Nigeria a center of excellence for other nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, I want us to keep sharing this broadcast. I want us to keep praying to God and asking for His divine assistance. And it shall come your way in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate every one of us for linking up with this program. And as we continue, the Almighty God will bless us. We bless the covenant in the name of Jesus. See you at another time. God bless you.